If the radiator cooling fan doesn't work on your car, you're in for trouble. So today I'm going to show you how to fix the cooling fans in your car. If you're driving down the road and your temperature gauge starts getting hot, pull over to the side of the road and look under the hood. And if you find that the cooling fans aren't sucking air, there's something wrong with the system. Now cooling fans are simple DC motors, so they're very easy to test. Just follow the wires from the fan until you get to the plug for the fan connector right here. Then just snap it and unplug it. Then get two little jumper wires for sending electricity to the fan and hook one to the positive terminal of the battery and the other one to the negative terminal of the battery. Then connect one wire to one of the terminals going to the fan and hook the other wire up to the other terminal. These cooling fans are 12 volt DC motors so it doesn't matter if you hook them up backwards they'll just run backwards. It won't hurt the motor. And the motor's working, so the fan motor is okay. If the motor didn't come on, it's a simple fix. You just need to replace the motor. But in this case, the motor came on, so there's a different problem. The motor isn't getting any power. So we'll pull out the fuse. And we'll check the fuse, but it's continuous. It's not blown, so the fuse is okay. Well, the fan gets powered by a switch called the cooling fan temperature switch. So let's check that. On this Toyota, the cooling fan switch is hidden under the distributor. There it is, right there. To check it, you just unplug it and ground the terminal here. On. Then take the other end of the ground wire and put it on the negative terminal of the battery. And now the fan comes on! So in this case, the car just needed the sensor for the cooling fan. It just screws out and you screw a new one in. Now if you've tried all these steps and the fan still doesn't work, the only thing left is the cooling fan relay. Look in the fuse box. In this case, it's called fan number one relay. Then just unplug the relay and replace it. These relays are little electromagnetic switches, and they do go bad over time. When they do, you just replace them. So the next time your cooling fan stops working, don't get mad. Fix it yourself. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit ScottyKilmer.com, and I'll answer them.